Hi, this is Lee Jevons, former Labour councillor in Walsall and still Labour activist. And, um, well, I found out this week that the NHS is actually broken. It's not on the verge of breaking, it's broken. And why is this? Well, <clears throat> on uh, Monday, I had to uh, ring an ambulance because my wife was suffering chest pains. And those chest pains were radiating into a jaw and into a shoulder. Now, this is potentially indicative of a heart attack. So I rang an ambulance or for an ambulance and uh, <clears throat> described all the symptoms and told we were a priority. But everybody seemed to be a priority that night. And the wait was for up to six hours, right? Six so, having waited about 40 minutes, we cancelled the ambulance and I drove my wife to Walsall Manor Hospital. Uh, it was chaos when we got there. It was heaving like a war zone. Um, my wife checked in and we were told to take a seat. Well, she got a seat. I stood because there, it was standing room only at that point. Um, <clears throat> then... We waited again for oh, about 40 minutes and I went up to the desk to remind them that, you know, my wife was suffering chest pains that were radiating. And uh, I said they radiated into a jaw and then the lady who took these details went, oh, right, OK, um, we'll try and move this through then. But it could still be a while because, as you can see, we've got a lot of priorities tonight. Now, uh to be fair, when we finally got to see a triage nurse, things started to move a little bit uh, quicker then. And my wife had an ECG, which looked normal. But the ECG is not the best test for a heart attack. I've had a heart attack. And really what you need is the blood test. Uh, the blood test looks for something called troponin, which is indicative of a heart attack. Um, a nurse tried to take the bloods, was not successful. Um, okay, you know, she uh, she managed to pierce the vein but didn't manage to draw anything out. Uh, which probably explained why there was dry blood on the floor within the cubicle, but that's another thing. Um, after a while, we were told that because the doctor had said that the ECG looked normal, we were sent to urgent treatment. Um... Still not having had the blood test and we sat there for three hours to eventually be seen by a nurse who had no paperwork passed on to her, had not got the ECG for my wife and said, well, <clears throat> you probably guess better off getting the blood test at your GPs. And uh, we were sent home. Now, yesterday uh, we went, that's Tuesday, to our GPs in Rushall and they were very good. They have uh, prescribed my wife a GTN spray, which she's supposed to use to spray under her tongue when uh, she gets a chest pain. And it relieves the chest pain. It gives her a right headache, but it relieves the chest pain. So I'm sort of inclined to think that there might be a problem with her heart, but at the moment we still don't know. My wife's got an ECG tomorrow and a blood test on Friday. And you might say, well, why did the doctor not send my wife back to the hospital to get this done. And he said, well, it's pointless, isn't it? It's pointless because there was such a cock up on Monday night. Um, all in all then, not a good experience. Now, when I had my heart, I've had two heart attacks actually, one in 2008 and one in December 2011. And I've got to say, I was rushed through. It was exemplary. And the only difference I can see is that in 2008, it was properly funded, and in 2011, the funding still hadn't been cut very much. Well, now we were where we are, and which government do we have? Think about that for a second. I mean, they say you should have an A&E in every town, because what happens if you have a heart attack? Well, my answer to that always used to be that actually it was the paramedics that saved you, and it was A&E that started putting you back together. Now, neither of them seem to be operating that efficiently. So, I don't know what you do, really, if you have a heart attack. Hospital is still probably the best place to go. But, I don't know, I'm speechless. 
I'm speechless. I remember in 2012 at the start of the Olympics, we had that opening ceremony and we celebrated the NHS. Well, they've managed to destroy it in 10 years. I've been Lee Jevons um, and I'd like to thank you very much for watching.